Hi there, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be taking you through Bolzano and Wall Street theorem. In our previous lessons, we've gone through the isolated points, limit points, bounded sets, and others. So if this is the first time you've been on this channel, can you subscribe to support and please watch this video to the end. So the theorem is saying every bounded set so every bounded, so the key words in this theorem, take note, every bounded infinite, take note, so every bounded infinite subset of R has at least one limit point. So the term is being highlighted on bounded and what? Infinite, then on R, row numbers. So meaning that if any given subset of row numbers is bounded and also is infinite right so meaning that it's a set right it's a set a given set right it's bounded and it's infinite then so far as it's bounded and it's infinite then it means that it has at least one limit point at least one limit point take note of that so on that note let's see on that note let me give an example here. So determine or prove using the set A, which is equal to one, one out of two, one out of three, one out of four to infinity satisfies. the Bolzano theorem. So let's see this problem. You have to prove using that, using the set A, given one, one out of two, one out of three, one out of four to infinity, but that is satisfied the Bolzano theorem. How do we prove this? We move to the theorem and we see if our set here satisfies the Bolzano's conditions so is said every bounded the word is bounded so now let's come and check if this set given here is bounded so a set is said to be bounded if we cannot get a least number so that our set can never exceed and if we can get a highest number so that our set can also not exceed so we have the greatest greatest lower bound right then the least upper bound, right? And the least upper bound. So when you talk about the greatest lower bound, it means that it is the biggest number our our set cannot exceed on the left side or on the smaller side. And the least upper bound is the what? Or is the smallest number our sets will not what? Will not exceed on the right side. Now when you say bounded sets, right? So that will be handled specially in in the next video. So in this set, we can say that the set here will never exceed one. One will be the biggest number because the set keeps on what? decreasing because one over two, one over three, one over four, it will be one over five. And the more the denominator is becoming bigger, the smaller the number. So meaning the greatest lower bound, yes, greatest lower bound is giving us what? Um, zero. So this function will decrease and decrease and decrease until it reaches zero. And it's whenever reach zero, so it's infinite. Okay, then the least upper bound is the one because this is the highest number you ever get in this set. So meaning our set is bounded, it's satisfied. Now is it infinite? Oh yes, it's infinite because of these three dots. Once we see these three dots, it means that it doesn't end. Okay, it's also infinite. Then is it a subset of R row numbers? Yes, it is. So it's satisfied. Then we come to what the term is saying. It said it has at least one limit point, at least one. So there is no way we have a bounded infinite subset of R which will have no limit. No, it has a limit point. So now, what is the limit point of this? So you know that a limit point is any point which when you find a very small delta neighborhood around it, you will surely find the other members within that particular set, right? So now, when you come to this set, right, if you want to see the limit point, let's choose a limit point of zero right so if you take a very small 
delta, which is the radius, right, of the neighborhood, to be let's say 0 0.01, you realize that our interval becomes 0 minus 0 0.01, comma, 0 plus 0 0.01. We can refer to our previous lessons to understand limit points. So we have negative 0.01 comma positive 0.01. So you realize that this interval created, we will surely have all these members, a lot of them being found here. Because 0.01 is the same as 1 out of 100, right? And surely as this is increasing, we're going to have, as it's decreasing, we'll be having 1 out of 5, 1 out of 6, until 1 out of 100. So meaning 1 out of 100 is found within this interval. Therefore, zero is a limit point. So once you have at least found one limit point of this set, it means that bosano Westress theorem is confirmed, right? So that's all for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.